Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, click the Hire Us button or the Contact Us form, and fill out that information, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. What we're going to talk about today is I compiled the list of everything that you all wanted to know about the uh, the UXG, the next Unify Next Gateway. And what I've got um, is uh, I've got a, like I said, I got a whole list. Everybody was great during that video. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go through all of these things one by one and I am going to address them. And one of the first things that I want to address is on the UXG Pro, somebody asked, how can we configure the ports? What can the ports be configured for? So here is the site that we set up. You can see I've got an uh, update available for my uh, US W Enterprise 8 PoE. That is not the, the topic here. So we're gonna go to the next gateway. We're gonna go to settings and we're gonna to go to ports. And what's really interesting about this, so they're, they call this a routing offload. So they're calling the UDM, the UDM SE, they're calling those Unify OS consoles. And they're calling the Unify Next Gen Gateway um, a routing offload. So what's really funny about this is if we go to configure interfaces, and we look at this, port one is set for WAN, but I can actually drop that down and set that to LAN. I'm gonna leave it as WAN, otherwise I am going to lose internet. Port two for the LAN, if I drop that down, it can be a LAN. Port three, which is traditionally your other WAN port, can also be a LAN, right now it's WAN two. And port four can be a LAN, so what does that mean? Looking at this, I could set all four of these to be LANs which means that this becomes just um, a routing um, uh, in theory, a routing um, appliance. But look, it says network groups, LAN and WAN must be assigned. So it wants us to have um, apparently have that split up. So there's some things that I'm, I'm wondering with this, and maybe somebody else can help me kind of fill in the pieces. It let me select LAN for all of those. If at some point they weren't going to let me select LAN for all of those, I would expect that option to not be available. However, you saw that when we set everything to LAN, we got this network group LAN and WAN must be assigned. Someone else said in one of the other videos, or said in the video that maybe you're going to be able to nest this unified next gen gateway inside of a UDM. Besides it just being able to be on its own site and be a USG replacement, maybe you're going to be able to nest this. And maybe this is evidence of things coming in the future. I don't know. Um, however, being able to, you know, have us change all of these to land, but then throwing, um, you know, that error. I don't know. You tell me what, what do you think that means? However, what you do know is right now I can have one WAN and three, uh, lands. So it's definitely, um, interesting the way that we can set these ports up. Uh, now obviously I haven't, uh, clicked LAN on there and um, done that. Now maybe that error that we're getting is caused because we need to come into the networks and maybe add a different a different network. Um, but here it's asking us what our router is. See, this is why I'm like wondering like, are we heading towards this place where we can nest this? I don't know. I don't know if anybody really knows, but what I, what I do know is what this allows us to do right now with these ports. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments 
what you think this means. And I guess, let me know, like if I change this to LAN and I change this to LAN, I wonder what happens if I click apply. I think stuff's going to go, I think stuff's going to go a little weird. No, you, I, it could go, it could go sideways and I don't know what it's going to take to fix it, but let's, you know what? Let's click apply and see what happens. Doesn't look like it did anything. So I'm going to change that back to WAN, but the apply button was definitely hot. I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to go back to ports so we can see what that default is. So it's uh, WAN, LAN, LAN. So I could change that SFP there, and now it changed it, right? But it definitely, at this point, it, it's weird that it even gives me that option. But now we have three LAN ports and one WAN port. So let me know what you think this means. Am I looking too much into this? Am I being too hopeful? Like, where am I at with this? Let me know what you think. But could we see this as a nested device inside of, like, are all the devices, like, going to work together? I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon, and thank you to those folks. Or if you'd like to use our clearly marked clearly identified affiliate links. Those are down below. If you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com, click hire us or the contact form, fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you 